Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, we've looked at in previous videos at using the slide down and the slide up functionality in jQuery. However, we also have a slide toggle function. This works the same as toggle on its own, but in actual fact, uh, slides instead of just shows and hides an element. So we're going to use an example of an image again. I'm going to create uh, an, um, an image tag and I'm using this image called tartan.jpg. I'm going to give it an alt attribute of just tartan and I'm also going to give it an ID. And uh, let's do this just at the start here. So I'm going to say ID is equal to image. Now I'm going to have a button just up here, so an input type and that's going to be button. The value is going to be, we'll just say toggle, that makes uh, that makes sense. And I'm going to give this an ID as well. This is just going to be toggle. Okay, so I'll just finally surround this in paragraph tags uh, to make everything a bit more separate. And then let's go over to our browser and preview it. Okay, so we've got this image here and we've got toggle. So what we want to happen is we want this to slide up and slide down uh, every time we press this toggle button. So we've already included jQuery and already included our effects.js file. Now what we want to is to do is listen out for an event when this button is clicked. Uh, then what we, what we want to do is toggle this image accordingly. So over in effects.js, let's go ahead and create an event handler for this button, which I have called toggle. I'm going to say dot click, so we're listening out for a click, and inside we create a function that's going to be run uh, when we have that click take place. So everything inside the curly brackets is our code. So let's just bring that down to make it look a bit neater, and let's go ahead and use the toggle function, the uh, slides toggle function. So we are sliding the image, so we need to reference the image with a hash image, uh, again using the standard notation to reference an, uh, an element. Then we want to use the slide toggle function. So the slide toggle function does take additional parameters, I'll explain those in just a moment. However, let's return to our page and see what we have. Let's click on toggle, you can see that that has slid up into the corner. Uh, when we click toggle again, it will um, slide back. Now you'll notice that as the image slid, it actually slid into the corner. And what the, well, the effect that we were actually looking for is sliding upwards and downwards. And the problem with this is because we're using an image, the effect doesn't have the same uh, output. Therefore, what we need to do is we need to include our image inside of somewhere and in, instead of actually sliding the image itself, slide what is um, containing it. So instead of uh, the ID being inside of the image, we're gonna give it to this paragraph just here. So the page is displayed in exactly the same way. However, all we've done is we've actually called the paragraph ID uh, image, sorry, rather than the image itself. Now what's going to happen is we're going to get the same thing happen with this. We're, we're referencing image, which is now a paragraph, and we're using slide toggle as we would normally, but this time we'll actually re uh, retrieve or, or display an, a real sliding effect. So you can see now that it's slid up and slid back down again. So that's the problem with using uh, some elements. Some elements won't display properly when you try and use animation effects on them. However, just by creating a paragraph with this image inside, we've retrieved a perfect sliding effect. Now we do have other options for this slide toggle function. For example, the speed. Again, it can be a textual or numerical representation of a speed. For example, we could do 2000. You also can change the animation type so for example, at the moment, it sort of bounces almost, it swings. Um, it's hard to see when it slides fast. However, if we were to press toggle now, you can see that it slows down just before it reaches the end here. We can use linear in this case to slide exactly, so it will maintain the same speed as it slides. So if you watch now, it maintains exactly the same speed as it slides up and down. So it depends on what kind of effect you're looking for, but by default this is swing, and the other option, and the only other option, is linear. 
Uh, we can also have a callback function, which we've discussed in other parts of uh, on other tutorials, uh, which I won't be demonstrating in this case. However, for now, that's to, uh, how to use the slide toggle function in jQuery.